Let's go to Wayne in Orlando. Wayne, you're on News 96.5. Hey, Wayne. I have a question about probate. All right. How large would a person's estate have to be, including all assets, in order to have to go through probate? Or what is the dollar amount that, where a person would not have to go probate? Okay, there is no dollar amount, Wayne. So in theory, you could die with $1 in a savings account, and it would require probate to get that $1 out of the savings account and into the name of the beneficiaries or the kids, for example. There are different levels of probate. So at the very lowest, there's one called administration unnecessary, where the clerks will actually give you the forms and help you fill them out. The next level up is a summary administration, relatively quick and easy probate. Then we move into the full administration, which is a you know four to six month probate. So Wayne, that that's um, that that answers your question, but it may not solve whatever your dilemma is. Tell me what's going on. Well, I'm I'm single, and uh, my family members, and you know I'm getting a bit older. My family members are saying you know that I, I should have uh, make out a will to avoid probate. Uh, in case anything were to happen to me so they could go ahead and take care of everything. Okay, good. So, Wayne, having a will has nothing to do with avoiding probate. A will simply directs what happens to your assets when they go through probate. Wayne, you are on the right track. I want you to keep thinking these terms. I want you to sit down with a lawyer and hopefully me, and I'll assist you with it. Wayne, there are some great, easy, simple tools for avoiding probate, and we'd love to share those tools with you. Wayne, you can call me out next week and we can talk about it in more detail. Or you can come to my next Wills, Trusts, and Avoiding Probate workshop. If you'd like to come to that workshop or anybody out there, you can reserve your seat. You can call or text Chrissy anytime at 407-808-8398. 